In this video, I'm going to present you with a big business problem that every day I see more and more businesses just jumping into this rabbit hole and they're not able to find a solution. So today we are going to talk about cold calls. The main problem with cold calls is that the business is not able to monitor and babysit the salespeople. The business owner will invest lots of money and resources to produce list of leads that the salespeople are supposed to call. But the main problem is that the business is not able to make sure that the salespeople are actually calling each one of the leads multiple times. In this example that I'm going to present you soon, you will see a business that has a mandatory of 10 phone calls for each lead. And without having those phone, 10 phone calls, the salesperson cannot deem the lead as a lost lead. Now, when it's also a lost lead, there will be a rehash process that after three months, the same lead will come back to life and then the salesperson is supposed to call him again 10 times. Okay, so the ones that we were not able to connect with them at all, they will come back to life and we will need to connect with them again. As you can see on the screen, this is the common blueprint that I presented so far. And this is a great blueprint for businesses that are not using cold calls. For cold calls, this is not your solution. The solution here in this blueprint is that you're supposed to call multiple times, let's say five times in this case, and every time that you call, there will be some kind of an automation, an email or SMS that will be sent to your lead. Of course, with cold calls, this is not what you want to do. With cold calls, you just want to get them on the phone. So this blueprint is not for our session. For our session, I'm going to present you with an improved blueprint that it's meant for cold calls. As you can see here, I do not have only five different attempts. I have here uh, a recurring loop. And every time that the sales agent is trying to call, he will click on the button. In some businesses that I see, every time that the agent is clicking on attempt to contact, there will be some kind of a number that will increment and the business owner will know how many phone calls the salesperson created, how many phone calls he made. Okay, so every time that he's clicking here, the number is incrementing. The only problem is that not everybody's are honest. And if they're clicking on the attempt to contact, it doesn't mean that they really made the phone call. In our system, what we created is that you will have here the number of contact attempts, and that will happen only when the lead source or the lead, uh, yeah, the lead source is called calls. If it's not called call, the, this field will not even show. Now, when it's, a, it's the number of a, uh, contact attempts is showing, you know how many real phone calls the person made, the salesperson, okay? It's not fake because it's not dependent on how many clicks the salesperson clicked, okay? You see the number is not incrementing. This number is incrementing on every real phone call that your salesperson made. So when he actually have the dialer on, he's calling the person, of course, the system, the phone system needs to be connected to Zo. And if you need some ideas, I have in the description below two phone systems that we always recommend companies to use. They have phone calls and SMS. And the idea is that every time that you have a phone call that is being done using those systems, they will be registered as closed activities in ZO, and then this number will increment. Let's just create here a manual phone calls because on this system, I do not have this integration. So let's create here a completed phone calls and let's have it here. 
cannot be empty test call okay so when the phone call is being registered then you will see this number is incremented to four okay now only when the number will be your 10 only after 10 successful phone calls you will see that there will be another field here and the field will be lost lead and only then the salesperson can deem this lead as lost okay so we need 10 phone calls before we can deem it as lost now this field is not up cannot be updated by your salespeople they can only see this field but they cannot click and change it so as you can see we we created here some kind of a babysitting system that's making sure that the agents are actually calling the leads the cold leads as they should and only real phone calls are being registered in the system so the business owner do not need to feel that is wasting money on buying quality list while he knows that most of his team is not really doing a good job okay that's it that's the the session that i wanted to show you i think that when you're getting into corners and you feel that you're trapped there is always a good solution with automations okay automations can solve you lots of problems and the problem that i just presented to you right now exist in so many businesses okay every day we're getting businesses that have the same problem and therefore i i wanted just to create a video like that just to present you the solution that's it that's the session that i wanted to show you simple solution for a big problem that we see on a daily basis if you like the session thumbs up is always appreciated if you have any comments drop them in the comments below I will see you in the next session. Mm.